this morning. I used to have these as a child. Do you remember so these cool. chopsticks? That That's was, so cool. Course, super trigger requested by Lisa. <laughs> Uh, now, if you're in the mood, thank you. For a takeaway tonight, do not bother, because John Tarot is showing us how to recreate one of our favourites at home. Well, all to have the music John. as well. Everybody, that means to have a... <laughs> and, and if it all goes nice. wrong, we'll just sing Waterloo. But don't worry yeah. about it, it's fine. <laughs> uh, we're going to make beef chow mein. Really amazing beef chow mein. There's a couple of tricks to it, but I'm going to get this on. It's going to take about sort of six or seven minutes to get done. So I'm going to put this, this beef on first. I'm just going to start to cook it, and then I'll tell you about what I do with this. OK. Because you can see the colour of that beef. It's a bit unusual. It looks a bit dark. It does. And... Is that soy sauce? Ah, not just soy sauce. Soy sauce and baking powder or bicarbonate of soda. Bicarbonate of soda across the G. I've used flank steak, so yeah. it's not expensive at all. Butcher's cut. Yeah. And then you put the, bi the oh, across the top. It's not yeah. soy bacon. sauce. It's lovely, but it can be tough if you fry it too quickly. So what should you do with it? You marinate it for a long time? No, this is going to take ten minutes. And just the bicarb, and what happens is the bicarb and the soy does something about pulling the proteins together, which means the moisture stays, the water doesn't come out as it fries, but it continues to go nice and crispy. So that's it. That's your preparation. How much bicarb? Just a spoonful? Just a teaspoonful. Wow. John, if you're just cooking steak at home, would you have a bu would you have a, a bavette or a flank steak? Or would you...? I don't mind it, but me, I... I look, listen, if I'm going to have a steak, I'll have a nice bit of rump. Well, that's what I mean. So you should know, you get your always marinate it if, yeah. if it gets a bit... if it is too tough? I right. think the thing about marinating is that marinating is there to tenderize something. So if you're going to use something like fillet steak or a sirloin, you don't need to. No. But if you're going to use a bavette or something which is a bit harder, yes, marinate works. But I've had it in a restaurant and it's really nice, but I haven't quite mastered it at home because, like you said, it can be a bit tough. But the thing is, probably they're using something like bicarb. A lot of Chinese restaurants will do it. And everybody thinks it's a cheat. It's not a cheat. I'm glad you're liking the prawn crackers. It's good. Now, they're, they're, they're the best prawn crackers I've ever had in my life. These are the tastiest so prawn crackers ever. I, who needs a takeaway when you get those? <laughs> so what's happened now, just like re let it sit for a second, then turn it once and you'll see what's happened. It, the, the water hasn't come out. And it's a really magic thing. So what would usually happen is that that water would come out of there and yeah. that would be a problem. That's not going to happen. Now, I'm going to try and do... because of the bicarb? Because the bicarb apparently binds the proteins. Ah. Now, well, so I'm going to try and do a... Practice. You've, got the, you've got one every now and again that's, like, a little bit more... You know when they're not as done as the rest of them and they're sort of a little bit, bit crunchy? Well, let's oh, see what like happens. Oh, like that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. see what happens. Ah. Is that ready yet? The oil's not ready. It's not ready. Oh, it's starting to happen. It's got here, really, it goes, really here, really it goes. here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Come oh, on, wow, I've never seen this before. Wow, up you come. There we are. So we'll do a couple more of these. There we go. That's how quickly they cook. So we're going to do a couple of those because that's oh, hot. I, I love that in the, in the gallery, Alice is going, wow, I've that's amazing. Everyone's oh, going, wow, because it's witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, it's witchcraft. Now, the beef, then, all I do now is I take that beef I out. I can just watch that for the next five minutes. Me yeah. too. Look at it. This is the TV we needed. Take the beef out, drop the beef in with some sesame seeds in a bowl. Oh, yes. Take the rest of that wok back on there. I've cooked some carrots with a bit of carrot and ginger. Some um, ginger and, and garlic. And then to that, I'm now going to add um, some cabbage. And then some garlic and some ginger, which I should have put with the beef, but I forgot because I was busy talking to you lot. What's oh, your man. thoughts on cooking lettuce? Cooking lettuce? I, it depends on what lettuce it is. I yeah. like... Bitter lettuce, like um, endive cooked, but as far as grilled like salad lettuce, I'm not. I'm not no, a fan. not a fan. Not a fan. Fair enough. Now there's those. So I'm going to put take the rest of these prawn crackers out. We'll drop some more in. Now Damn. the thing is, if you do these at home, you just buy them in the Asian supermarket in the packs. They really are. They're a bit overdone. <laughs> but that's okay. Nobody They'll knows. They'll get eaten. Only because I told them. Don't worry about that. Now they're, they're in they go there. That's fine. We'll watch those happen again. Just watch Here we go. Look, the magic of television. Yay! Here we go. Perfect. You know, you can just watch stuff online every now and again. I would just, I just put that on repeat. <laughs> just have that online and just watch it for hours. Like, like you can watch Big Brother. <laughs> in go your noodles. Let's cooked. take the rest of these they crackers already, out. John? Oh, what's that? Noodles cooked already, yeah? Noodles are already cooked. So they're just going to reheat them. You can buy so many different packs of noodles now at the supermarket. Look how many corn crackers we've got already. Um, and then, add to that now a little bit of sesame oil. A little bit of soy sauce. Yep. Now, chow mein doesn't, have a, doesn't really have a sauce. It's quite an interesting thing. It actually is quite dry. You want it to be dry, and it's about the noodles and Never everything. Dry red, White of the spring onions. Go in. And then what you do is you cook it really quite quickly. So it's just about heating it up. 
and throwing it over the stove as much as absolutely possible. And it's always got to be on the highest piece, hasn't it? As high as possible. That's why I've used the same wok to do yeah. the noodles and the beef, because also that beef is going to be all that lovely flavour is going to be in there. I like now, to that. Ne so it would never be my go-to. What would be your go-to if you were absolutely... That's a what good question. What about you, question. John? What would be your go-to takeaway on Chinese? Oh, prawn balls. Always. Oh, prawn, I love I like it. prawn toast. Prawn, oh, prawn, I'm going to do that next time. Oh, I love a bit of prawn toast. You can do prawn balls next time. Be... Yeah, prawn toast, prawn balls, chicken wontons. I like black bean, so whether it's Oh, that's my favourite, or... with the green peppers. Oh. oh, yes. A bit of stock, some more spring onions here. So what's happened is the stock, you see what's happening here, I'm going to turn that fryer off now. Turn you off, hello. The, the stock, what's happened is the steam comes through the noodles and heats the noodles up really quickly. The thing about this is it's got to be done fast, as fast as you can, because you want the crispy veg. Now, people sort of say to me, oh, well, this is a great healthy takeaway. It is sort of a healthy takeaway because you're going to hide all the veg in there for the kids, which is good, but it tastes just really good. Now, this is the really difficult bit. Now, I'm going to turn that there. What you do then is you take our noodles. Yeah. Presentation, all important. Alice. It's a lovely bowl. Can I just say that? Just Pour it in. Look at that. Let it just happen. Just no, Let it do what it wants to do. At all, but we've got a guest diner in today. Oh, yeah. oh is it Greg? I've Come heard. on, Greg. Come and join her. <laughs> Add your sesame <laughs> seeds. The standards are very high. <laughs> Stir Greg, no. your beef now. Good He's so excited. You. <laughs> all I right, son. <laughs> I went and saw Greg in his, in, in his dressing room. He said, can I taste your chow mein? This will be great. <laughs> <laughs> so now, spray onion, sesame yep. seeds across the top. Yeah. Then pour that across the top. Oh like my that. God! Oh, there you go. Get in. So there. everyone just get helps them sound. You help yourself. Give me your bowl. There you, you go. Be mom. Greg. Yeah, I'm going to be mum. Um, some more prawn crackers because you guys have finished. Do you know what? I'm going to get the spoon on Do it. Do you want a cracker, Mr. Wallace? Get involved. Sure. Cracker. Thank you very much, mate. Polly, want a cracker? Thank you. Here we go. So What's the, the idea. Have you ever done a prawn cracker factory? It's going everywhere. No. No. What's the best factory you've ever done? The there best factory I ever did was actually lush the soap. Oh, right. Let the me do that. The food factory is difficult because you have to get dressed when up you actually yeah, yeah, yeah. But soap, you don't have to. And it smelled fantastic. Nice. There you go. Nice. That's yours. Thank you. Now, the thing is, Alison's already tried this, so she knows it's not too bad. It's delicious. It's mm. the beef. It's so tender. What, what part of beef, John? Flank. Oh. Flank beef, bicarbonate of soda, and away right. you go. That's so all you can do. And that's the bicarb. Mm. So what usually happens if you fry a piece mm. of strip beef like that is all the water comes out and it braises and it goes tough. Mm. But the bicarb doesn't just tenderise, holds oh, the God. proteins together, oh, makes it stay crispy, no water in there, beef chow mein, ten minutes. Does he ever cook on set for you? Yeah, all the time. Oh. Yeah. This oh. is what, when I saw him cooking, I was in makeup and I, I saw the clip. You knew it was going to be good. So when I saw Straight it, out that chair, I was you, like, right? mate, can I come up and taste your beef? <laughs> John, <laughs> so good. Greg, good to have you with us. Good to talk to you later. Thank you, John. Today's recipe. See you on the sofa. Your fruit See you on the sofa. Your fruit will fine, yeah. son. Thanks, Diane. John and Greg are sticking around to talk about MasterChef uh, a little mm. later, about ten minutes' time. So we'll see them. Huh? Oh, it's competition time now. I nearly missed that. <laughs> competition time now. It's absolutely...